Break out the cheesesteaks and beer. We are live at Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, home of the Evils. And this is a mean crowd, and they are looking for blood. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Philadelphia Evils. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster with the warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Opa! Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo? Stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. Love this dirty trick. Feet by both. The defense knocked a pass down, and quarterbacks hate that. Third down and nine. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's going to go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to. Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Let me tell you, getting shot is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel and got blown across the room into a deer antler. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. I think I showed my cards. It's not to me. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. And then catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. First down. See if there, does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. 
First down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. You know, getting that first ref is kind of like fishing. Getting the first one seems to take forever, then they come in bunches. They'll probably come home with a stringer full of refs by the end of this game. <laughs> First down in a mile. <laughs> Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down in a mile. Defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hey kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL and try it. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Should move him back nice. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Man, what a hit that was. Now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls, and by talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. <laughs> Second down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah. Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. That run is good for 10 yards. QB is saying his prayers. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks.
Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Third down and the punter is warming up. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at he finds open space and running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. He's at the 20. The 10. Nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and never going to happen. Looks like a pass and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball. And he just slipped. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. One's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And that'll be second down and four. 
When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the hip. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And that'll bring up third and one. Well, I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit! Second down and seven. <laughs> Two minutes left in the half. Third down and, well, good luck. And there's a huge gain and this offense is rolling. Not bad. that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Now that punter's going to find a cutoff. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Welcome to McRoyd Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take a double Royd burger, large Royd fries, and a big Royd go. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go. 20. He's at the 10. Go! Oh! Never do that again, Bricks. I'll shoot you in the head. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Keep a good mutant down. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. You know what? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And the score! A 
dance reminds me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh yeah, that took a thing to blow up that club six feet under. Yeah, my wife could smell the bun there on me when I got home. Big trouble! Yeah. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Ben. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat before. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out... It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Frankenfood. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soylent beer? The teams line up for the second half kickoff deadlocked in a tie game. Bricks, there is nothing worse than a tie game. Uh, I'm going to disagree. I'm going to say entire iron in your face. Well, that's a good point. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Boom! And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. I take all you mutants out of the track. What you talking about? And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the path he's taking a field. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, boy. He did it. He scored. With that amazing run, he burst. If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're gonna lose, pal. You kinda deserve it if you're this dead scrim. Oh boy, there. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. 
And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. In a fight between King Tong and Godzilla, the player on Royd Rage would win. Oh, he took the oh. <laughs> He did not see that coming, partner. First and four. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. Yeah, little baby. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't get Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. I think I showed my yeah. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah. That's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Roid Rage, how do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? One Roid Rage breakfast special coming up. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And he runs it for four yards. It's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and eight to go. Singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he's got those grims? Did you just see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. And this is a first and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery.
first down and forever. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. Yeah, it's still edible now. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. Second down and six. it in for the touchdown and this werewolf is from london i believe signed in the offseason yeah i saw him at trader dick's hotel party the other night his hair was perfect better watch out he'll rip your lungs out bricks well a little chip shot here extra point but this guy could blow it right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. First, nicely done. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Third down and six. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Third down and five. down and it's first and ten that's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run second and three The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Hey, no game to mad kill. Jim, hold on. Get up, get up, get up. Get up, now. Get up. Third 
third down and long. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck. And that hit jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. Touchdown! You know, his great grandfather was in that movie, Alien 17. Where is Ripley when you need her to bust out the big guns? Man, he's just leaving one big skid mark out there. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. Way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down in a very long. Hot one, hot two. Rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Third and two. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he... Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And he's off to the races. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Uh, don't call things epic, friend. Kids aren't going to think you're 
cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. I think I showed my cards in Sacramento. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, with a brutal hit. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's what... Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300... Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the refs some cash. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's a timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult it. And that's it. That's the last timeout. It's score or die from here out. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The kicker's gonna have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. First and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these you can't keep a good mutant. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him ten yards right there. Now this one's gonna be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this. It's the Eagles declaring victory today. Well, it looks like I'm declaring bankruptcy. I've been on the wrong team. Entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feet of teams should get a participation award because yeah, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard and shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.